Hi guys, I am Sasha Kaje and I am here with BMW and Variety. Action. Good morning, everyone. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is really beautiful. Yes, well, we love the grungy lived-in liner. I think it's like my uh, my go-to. I think that for me, it's it's very, it's always kind of very the same. I kind of like like a wet look um, for my hair. I don't know. I just feel the most me with this look. One of my like ticks is to run my hands through my hair, so it needs to be um, malleable. Malleable is the right word. This is the look for today. I love a uh, black slack and uh, a white shirt. But this time we cropped it. My stylist, my beautiful stylist, is Chloe and Chanel, which I absolutely love. I've been telling them that I need everything cropped now. So uh, we have a cropped shirt. It looks amazing. That's what we're gonna wear. So I'm gonna change. And you guys can't be there. I'll be back. Why do I like driving a powerful, fast car? Because I am a powerful, fast woman. <laughs> um, and I think women belong in really powerful cars. I love driving, but I think that you have to have a car that really suits you to love driving. Um, I need a little bit of speed. I need good tech. The BMW X3 also has an incredible sound system, and as a musician, I need to hear it. When I finish a song in a studio, Sometimes producers get mad at me for it. But um, I always ask for a demo immediately as we leave the session. The reason why I ask for the demo is because I just, I want to hear it. I want to feel that reward. And it's that moment in my vehicle, like getting in there, connecting my phone, tapping the song and listening to it as I'm driving home. There's something so satisfactory about it and I feel very proud of myself. It's very important for me to have the people that I love in my life um, and experience wonderful moments with them. Um, and also my beautiful Great Dane Dragon, who is massive and he's black and white. And usually sometimes I guess I match him because I wear black and white a lot. But it's very important for me to have space for all my people. I think the most valuable thing I wouldn't say one, or, but many women in my life have taught me is to not be afraid to take up space. I think in the industry that we're in, and I think in a lot of places, it's a bit harder to be a woman. And I think that it's a, I think it's a challenge. Um, and I think that we should continue to take up space and we should learn to take up space. I did a fitting yesterday and the fitting was not for me, it was for my mom. And it, I just sat there in awe and I, I thought, this is like everything I wished for, I want. I, I've, you know, my mom was a single mother who um, was an immigrant and, and struggled a lot and is just the most precious and, and beautiful, inspirational person for me. Like, that's how you deserve to walk in this space and you deserve to also take up space. And I just really love that. I am my ancestors' wildest dreams. This is a, a, a something that my lawyer said to me. Sloan, who's right here, she's beautiful, love you. Um, but she said to me, actually earlier today, we were talking about life, and she was like, I am my ancestors' wildest dreams. And I thought, wow, that's so beautiful. And I think that with Supergirl being like the first Latin woman to play that character, um, I think, again, like I am my ancestors' wildest dreams. And I am very proud of that. When I did also in the summers, it's an all Latin cast and crew. And again, I think my ancestors would really love that as well. And then I just did a uh, queer um, romance film that I think is very special, and I think also <laughs> my ancestors' as wildest dreams. I'm just very, very proud, and I, I try to, I guess, like um, manifest projects that really feel close to me, that feel like they're very meaningful for me in a way.